Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, July 28th, 2024. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 865 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Snowfall with Venko Gao and Ouyang Nana announces its premiere date. Yang Zi and Li Xian rap filming Flourished Peony. Neo Ho speaks to his portrayal of his dashing youth character by Li Dongjun. And Shen Yue talks about her first impression of Cecilia Liu. We'll get to the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week as we do every Sunday. But first, here's what's recently premiered, one drama for today in the past few days. Go Beach Volleyball Girls is a modern drama starring Sophie Zhang and Emily Xu. It premiered yesterday, July 27th. Emily plays a volleyball phenom who is disappointed when she fails to qualify for the national youth team. She returns to her home village and enrolls in the local academy where she meets a classmate played by Sophie. Together, they revitalize a volleyball club in their academy, which once had its glory days but now has weak and inexperienced players. Go Beach Volleyball Girls is slated for 36 episodes and is available on iQiyi with English subs. That's it for what's recently premiered. Before we get out of premiere dates, Snowfall has confirmed theirs. Snowfall, the Republican era drama starring Bengo Gao and Ouyang Nana, confirmed yesterday a July 29th premiere. It was previously titled The Shadow. The supporting cast includes Dong Secheng, Maggie Huang, and Ryan Ren. It's taken a while for the drama to be able to get to air. They wrapped their approximately three month film shoot in January 2022 and passed review in March last year. But apparently, they had to make a few alterations, including a title change, before they passed review again last month. In the past few days, though, it felt as if the drama was really gearing towards their premiere, as they shared a bunch of updates on their Weibo. Cast members Van Gogh Gao, Ouyang Nana, and Ryan Run did a live stream they called a Summer Afternoon Chat to relieve the heat. They did a building sweep and had some fun at Sina Entertainment's offices. And they did a meet and greet with fans and members of the media where they had more fun, reenacted scenes from the drama, and partook in some more activities. According to Tencent's latest synopsis, in Snowfall, Van Gogh is a gentleman and celebrity who meets a wealthy businessman's blind daughter played by Ouyang Nana. She later uncovers his secret of immortality. Now, I say latest synopsis because earlier versions described Vengo's character as a famous vampire who's lived for hundreds of years. Snowfall is slated for 24 episodes and will stream on Tencent. That's it for premiere dates. Moving on, Flourished Peony recently wrapped. Flourished Peony stars Yang Zi and Li Xian. On July 26th, the costume drama shared some rap photos on their Weibo. Here are the two leads. Here are supporting actors Miles Wei and Kiwi Zhang. Here is a video clip of the entire cast and crew on the day. This marks the end of an almost 8-month film shoot which began in early January. Flourished Peony is the highly anticipated second collab for Yang Zi and Li Xian, their first being the popular 2019 gaming drama Go Go Squid. With filming of Flourished Peony all done now, the two stars shared some high-res images of themselves and character. Here's Yang Zi sporting an umbrella in her Tang Dynasty look. And here's Li Xian sporting two different fans in his. They also shared videos showcasing moments from pre-production to the film shoot to the rap. In Flourished Peony, Yang Zi is He Weifang, a merchant's daughter divorced from a marriage in which only benefits were exchanged. With her superb skills in cultivating rare peonies, she enters the business world. With her business acumen, she starts a business with investment from Jiang Changyang, a young minister played by Li Xian. 
Together, they go through many events and challenges. They transform the entire industry, help extinguish a rebellion, and ultimately fall in love. Flourished Peony is later for 40 episodes and will stream on Mango TV. From a drama rap, we go to a drama booting. Shi Wan Kuang Hua Ru Meng Lai, which literally translates to A Hundred Thousand Crazy Flowers Come Into My Dream, stars Li Hongyi and Sun Chen Ni. On July 23rd, the drama officially announced themselves on Weibo. This is the clip they shared to introduce Li Hongyi. And this is the one to introduce Sun Chen Ni. They also shared images from their booting ceremony. Here are the two main leads flashing red envelopes. Here is a leaked video of them on the day. Looks like a hot one too. Everyone's trying to get some air onto their face to keep it dry. According to Sohu, in the drama, the female lead character is a medicinal spirit who, in trying to rescue her master, develops a bond with a cold-faced demon, the male lead character. A hundred thousand crazy flowers come into my dream will stream on Yuku. Alright, that's it for drama updates, celebrity updates now, and today we begin with Neo Ho, star of the currently streaming Dashing Youth. On July 26th, he and co-star He Yu sat down to an interview with Soho Entertainment. Neo spoke to his portrayal of his character, Bai Li Dongjun. I think people will compare between my portrayal and that of the novel, the 26-year-old actor said. When I took on the part, it was mentioned, and I was ready for the comparisons. Firstly, I am an actor. When dealing with a character, I have to be self-confident. I have to believe that I can invest fully in this character without restraint. As for the other stuff, I leave it for the audience, because after all, I am three-dimensional. It's very hard for me to match their imagination of a two-dimensional person. Everyone has an idea of what the character should look like, but as actors, we can make up for the character's essence and inner feelings. That is something we can try to fulfill. Dashing Youth premiered on July 19th and is available on Yuku with English subs. Also doing an interview recently with Soho Entertainment was Shen Yue, who spoke about her experience filming with Cecilia Liu. The 27-year-old actress has a supporting role as Dongfang Qinglan in the second chapter in the Fox Spirit Matchmaker series, Love in Pavilion. Love in Pavilion stars Cecilia Liu and Leon Zhang. The Xianxia drama wrapped filming in December last year. It has yet to pass review. In a July 26th Sohu Entertainment interview, Shen Yue was asked about her impression of Cecilia Liu, and she responded, I didn't know how to communicate with her. My first impression, we were filming a night scene. I couldn't see her too clearly. In fact, I didn't quite dare look at her. It's true. On our first scene, I was very, very nervous. After a while, we got a bit familiar, but even after that, I still didn't dare look at her. Like, if her face was close like this, it was really hard for me to look into her eyes. She is so beautiful, I would just tend the gaze away. Lastly, for celebrity updates, here are some video clips of actors on set that I came across recently, thought I'd share. We begin with Arthur Chen, who was photographed dressed in a black t-shirt and jeans with a towel around his neck. His character looks like he's putting in a tough shift as he lifts bottles of water from point A to B. Arthur is filming in Suzhou City for the drama Eating, Running, and Falling in Love. Then there's Li Yitong. Recently, she was photographed in this gorgeous wedding costume getting out of a bridal sedan. She sees something above her head and decides to make a dash. Li Yitong is filming for the drama A Dream Within a Dream. And lastly, Yang Mi was photographed on set dressed in peasant clothes. Here's one of her sporting her new look bangs and a bulging belly. Yang Mi is filming for the drama This Thriving Land. Netizens have described the drama as a big project in which the actress has to transform herself. Some have said the themes and character challenges are harder than those of any of her past works. That's it for celebrity updates. Before we get to this week's top 10, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, 
do like and subscribe and don't forget to click that bell button for notifications if you'd like to contribute consider giving this video a super thanks it is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video all funds support the show and keep it going or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to parts like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. On that note, it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas of the Week, edition 232, July 28th, 2024. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. They provide top drama charts every day. In this segment, the drama standings are based on their 7-day total points beginning last Sunday and ending yesterday. We begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, Aichi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10, The Double, the costume drama stars Wu Qingyan and Wang Xingyue. Number 9, Bright Time, the modern drama stars Hao Fusheng and Bian Cheng. Number 8, Follow Your Heart, the costume drama stars Liu Luo and Song Yi. Number 7, Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty Season 1, the costume drama stars Yang Xuwen and Yang Zhegang. Number 6, The Princess Royal, the costume drama stars Angel Zhao and Zhang Lingha. Number 5, Interlaced Scenes, the modern drama stars Mai Li and Tong Dawei. Number 4, Another Soul in Me, the modern drama stars Wu Jiayi and Yang Kun. Number 3, Lost Identity, the Republic of Nara drama stars Johnny Huang and Xin Zhe Lei. Number 2, Dashing Youth, the costume drama stars Neo Ho and He Yu. And number 1, Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty 2 to the West, the costume drama stars Yang Xuwen and Yang Zhegang. Strange Tales 2 is champion for the first time since its premiere. It garnered 607 points. Anything over 600 is a great week for the drama. In fact, they broke 10,000 popularity points on IGE recently and shared this poster to make the announcement. Only one other drama has broken 10,000 on IGE this year, War of Faith with Wang Yipo and Li Qing. Some other dramas that have broken 9,000 include Always on the Move, Red Moon Pact, and Interlaced Scenes. Next up, here are the top 10 Chinese TV dramas of the week. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 10, The Rise of Wan Shan, the modern drama stars Bao Jianfeng and Zhang Li. Number 9, Wings of the Nation, the modern drama stars Zhu Yawen and Hou Yong. Number 8, Family, the modern drama stars Yang Le and Deng Jiajia. Number 7, Joy of Life Season 2, the costume drama stars Zhang Ruoyun and Li Qing. Number 6, Dream City, the modern drama stars Yang Shuo and Jiang Xing. Number 5, Enforcement Department, the modern drama stars Luo Jing and Yang Zishan. Number 4, The Silicon Waves, the modern drama stars Huang Xiaoming and Angel Wang. Number 3, The Tale of Rose, the modern drama stars Crystal Liu and Tong Dawei. Number 2, As Beautiful As You, the modern drama stars Seven Tan and Xu Kai. And number 1, Lost You Forever Season 2, the costume drama stars Yang Zi, Zhang Wanyi, Deng Wei, and Tang Jianchi. Lost You Forever Season 2 ends the week with 593 points, making it champion for a second week running. And there it is guys, hope this gives you an idea of what dramas are hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas perform. That brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great week, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday. As always, stay safe, and I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.